What's up everybody, Silver here with another Halo Wars 2 achievement guide. This time we're doing two at once, we're doing It Just Keeps Going, which is Beat Wave 25 in Blitz Firefight. And while we're doing that, we're also doing Paint It Red, which is Achieve the Highest Possible Kill Streak in Any Blitz Mode. So Paint It Red will probably come naturally as we're doing the Firefight one. So what we want to do is start up a game of Firefight, which you can find in the Blitz menu. Just drive down into Blitz and select Firefight. And this is basically an endless game. It keeps going until you die, until you can go no further. Kind of like the Halo 3 ODST firefight where it just kept going and going. There was no time limit or anything. And the first thing you want to do is just ignore entirely the A pad or whatever it is. The A territory. You just want to put all your forces towards the B and C sections. Um, and we're just going to defend those. We're just going to ignore A. The only way to lose is when the AI gets to 100. So you can see in the top middle, it's zero right now. And once they get to 100, the game is over. And that only starts ticking upwards once the uh, the AI has more territories than you. So you just want to keep B and C. They can have A. Obviously, uh, we have more if we control two of them. So they won't get any points towards it, towards that uh, that 100%. And we got to survive through wave 25, which is pretty difficult at first, at least, uh, until you get used to the game itself. And also when you get uh, blitz cards, when you open blitz card packs and you level up your units, it gets a lot easier because your units are obviously more powerful. So if you're having a lot of difficulty with this, you could just kind of take a break from it and play through the other parts of the game, um, get a bunch of blitz card packs through doing achievements and challenges, uh, daily and weekly challenges, uh, just leveling up in multiplayer gets you uh, blitz card packs, and uh, just various things throughout the game will get you more of those packs. And uh, when you open them, it will level up all your blitz cards and uh, you will get stronger and stronger, which would make this achievement much more easy to deal with. So that's one way to make it a lot easier on yourself. But my main strategy here is to form a bunch of artillery on the uh, the ridge between B and C, which is a very popular firefight and uh, blitz strategy in general. So I'm going to line up a bunch of Kodiaks. Since I'm playing UNSC, I'll put a bunch of Kodiaks up here and have them set up and they'll be able to demolish a ton of the enemies as they come within my uh, my line of sight. And I'm going to put about 75% of my forces on the middle area, the B uh, pad, whatever it is, and I'm going to put the uh, remaining 25%-ish uh, on my C pad, just in case anyone gets around me and decides to go over there, which most of the time uh, only a few units trickle over there. Most of them uh, concentrate either on your middle pad or they just go to territory A. So let's skip ahead a little bit. Here we are. I have a few more forces in place here now. I have a couple uh, Kodiaks planted in up at the top there and we're about to start another wave and you can see I barely, I don't have anybody back there like I said I would, uh, but I will eventually later. I'll skip ahead and uh, show you my forces. Divided up about 25%, 75% in the middle, uh, 25 on the uh, the back end there in section C. But you can see I kind of move my middle forces out here, and then I move right back to the middle section. Uh, this isn't great because uh, I let them get zone C, so that's not a good idea. Uh, you don't want to go that far out like I did there. So that's an example of what not to do. I like to poke my head out a little bit just so my line of sight extends a little further, and that way my Kodiaks engage the enemy a little bit faster. So, wave complete. Uh, we're about, you can see I got a, I think I got a kill apocalypse or something, Just which is nine. Uh, as we know, we need Killionaire, which is the highest uh, kill streak in Halo games, which is 10 kills. And another thing you want to do is have a Warthog or a, uh, a Jackrabbit or something else, a ghost that's very a fast, like recon type vehicle, running around the map and getting all these supply drops, because there's no slow trickle of supplies coming in like in normal Blitz. Uh, you actually have to go get all the uh, the drops to get any kind of supplies going. So you can see here, I'm poking my nose out here, uh, initiating the Kodiaks to fire away on these guys. And they're really taking them out real quick. Um, they're very powerful. And I went too far that time. Went out a little too far again, allowing them to possibly go grab that uh, B territory for a split second and get one or two seconds. Which is not good, don't do that. But you can see that the uh, on the screen it said Killionaire, and also that's what the narrator said. So the achievement would have popped right there. Didn't hear because I already got the achievement a couple months ago. But that's what you gotta do. Uh, get that Killionaire, uh, which is pretty easy uh, once you get a ton of uh, these long range, uh, what are they called? I don't know, they're the Kodiaks. Uh, artillery, that's what you need. And if you're playing against the Covenant, you wanna do the same thing, but with blister backs. Um, have those uh, plant themselves down on the ground and shoot a bunch of artillery over at the, uh, the units as they come at you. Um, so this is a pretty consistent, uh, easy way to get the Painted Red achievement. 
and you'll definitely see me get a ton more uh, killing errors as this video progresses. But let's skip ahead right now to a, uh, a more intense time. All right, here we go, wave 23. Uh, we're in the middle of it. You can see I got a bunch of units up front here. I got a bunch of grizzlies and scorpions and just a good mix of units uh, is a good thing to have. Um, so you can take on a variety of different uh, vehicles that they'll throw at you and uh, infantry and different types of units. But you can see I got a bunch of uh, the, what are they called? Not grizzlies. Kodiaks. The Kodiaks are set up on the ridge there. There's like five or six at this point. I got a handful of units in the back here, along with this Warthog. This Warthog is just still running around the map picking up uh, supplies. I'm sending them right over there now. And you want to make sure you don't send them through a giant army while you're sending them across map. So it looks fairly safe for me to send them in that direction at this point. But you can see I got a bunch of uh, people mostly in the front. My really powerful units uh, and numbers are in the front here. And you can see my Grizzlies are uh, ranked up to 7. So I have a pretty high uh, set of levels for uh, my individual cards. Um, so it's easier for me um, than someone who would have just started out today because their deck wouldn't be nearly as leveled up. Um, but again, you could just go through the game uh, in other places and then come back to this uh, once your deck is just leveled up a little bit more. Um, but with this strategy, I got up to level or wave 51. I got through 50 and I started 51 and that's where I failed. Um, so this is definitely something that um, will get you past 25 at least. And you can see I have a bunch of Nightingales as well. I have like four of those that could just heal my units um, as I take damage. So in effect, it gives them more health uh, a little bit because they're being healed while they're taking damage. So they last longer and then they could heal hopefully all the way back up once the, uh, the round itself ends. And we got some uh, Kodiaks set up of their own over here. I don't like that, so I'm going to go uh, attack them real quick. And we have started Wave 25. Uh, it could get pretty intense, but uh, we we could deal with it. We're fine. I've met them. Oh, they only got some Vultures. Who cares about that? Um, something you could, you know, get uh, carried away with is having a ton of really powerful cards. I do it myself. I have level 7 Grizzlies, which are just beastly. And they wreck everything, except for air units. So I could just have a field day deploying those on the battlefield, and they'll wreck pretty much everything except for anti-vehicle and air units. Um, but you should not do that. You can see I got some Wolverines down there now too uh, to help me out with those uh, air units. And the uh, the artillery. You can see I got I've used five units on artillery, and that those don't affect air at all either so you want to make sure you're balanced out and your deck is balanced your default uh, decks will be pretty balanced anyway um, but you want to make sure you use the balance within those decks you don't want to just spam grizzlies or spam you know any other really powerful units and uh, you know i'll throw down another uh, kodiak why not we're done this is wave 26 i whatever we're done uh, this is actually a very long game type. Uh, you don't really notice how much time passes, uh, and then you, you end the game, and it's like, oh, you've been playing for 45 minutes. So, like I said, I got to wave 51, which I, it was close to an hour. Um, but we're done here. That's all for this one. Good luck to all of you. Thank you very much for watching. Click like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Twitter.com slash Halo Completion on Twitch at SilverScorpion4. And that's also my Beam.pro uh, user. Beam.pro slash SilverScorpion4. Subscribe to my iTunes uh, podcast. My podcast on iTunes, uh, which is Halo Conversationalists. And it's also on Google Play. And I'll see you guys later for more Halo achievements.